Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since I posted. I spent a month in Vietnam just doing some volunteering and now I am currently in Malaysia. Going to Kuala Lumpur two days ago and yeah, spent yesterday just settling in. It's a very, very different place from what I expected. It's very built up, very modern. Now my plan for today is to visit the Batu Caves, which is probably one of the most popular tourist things to do in the city. It's not too far. So I'm just going to get my grab here now and we're going to head to Batu Caves. Probably one of the most famous spots in the world, I guess, right now, and that is the Petronas Twin Towers. They are the biggest twin towers in the world, and just looking up at them right now, they're huge. So yeah, there's a big park behind it, we'll explore around there. It's very, very beautiful. One thing I really messed up on at my last location at the caves was that my microphone wasn't turned on for the top of it, so a lot of that footage is now going to have no audio. However, it was a very, very good thing to see, so close to the city, maybe like a 20 minute drive, and the steps up only took me maybe 10, 15 minutes. You think it's a lot worse than it actually is, but there's a lot of monkeys on the way up to keep you entertained. So yeah, let's try and find this central park of Kuala Lumpur and get a different view of the Twin Towers. I have just come inside to the mall beside the Children's Twin Towers because it was roasting outside. I just need to cool down to be honest because I'm sweating. Not gonna lie, Kuala Lumpur reminds me so much of the likes of New York. It's very American, the way it's laid out, but like on a very, very larger scale. And not as many people at the minute. Okay, after getting lost in the mall, I finally made it outside to the park, which is at the back, and there's a massive water fountain going on at the minute. And yeah, this definitely reminds me of like New York. It's crazy, it's like Central Park. I absolutely love like the outdoors, adventure places, like the lesser known spots, but after being in a city after so long for months and months, I absolutely love the skyscrapers, the buildings, the atmosphere. It's weird because like in the middle of the city, but so quiet and peaceful to walk around and just get away from that busy flow of traffic all around. And there are the twin towers behind me, as you can see. Now filming on GoPro 10, I just purchased today just because it'll be handier than use my phone all the time. But yeah, right now I am taking a 20 minute walk to go over to the Eco Park. I'm hoping I'll make it in time. And apparently there's like a really nice view of the Twin Towers from there. And then I'm going to loop around to the Twin Towers for night time from there. Fingers crossed. But yeah, one thing I've noticed is a lot of people don't use bikes here compared to Vietnam and Thailand. Uh, there's a lot of cars here and you just can't cross the road, you actually have to wait for the traffic lights. It's a big difference. Sometimes that's a good thing, but sometimes it's bad when you're in a hurry and you just can't cross the road. And traffic lights here are really, really long. But yeah, let's try and get to the sequel park. Also going off of my first impressions from earlier, Kuala Lumpur is very, very built up. There's lots of high buildings, lots of skyscrapers. But it's very refreshing after being away and coming back into the city life, I guess, you know. As you can see, walking down the middle of the road, take a shortcut to try and get to this Eco Park. So, literally just got to the entrance of the Eco Park and it has been closed today because of the weather, which I don't really understand because it's been sunshine and blue skies all day long. I'm gonna go back towards the Twin Towers, maybe get some food. And yeah, wait for the light show, I guess. That's what they call it. But yeah, it's a 20 minute walk away. I'm starting to really sweat right now. So I'm hoping there'll be some short ones. There it is. Now, I want to show you something from back home, I guess, which I didn't expect to find in all places. But yeah, just have a look at this. Come across a Marks and Spencer's. I'm going straight to the food hall to see if they have any treats. So we 
just going to chill now with my Percy pigs and salt and vinegar crisps and yeah, wait till the place lights up. So of course I had to get some Percy pigs, hope they taste the same, and salt and vinegar crisps. Don't smell the same, so I don't think they're going to be the same as back home, but it's still worth a try. These ones have green ears instead of pink as well. I mean they're not bad, but... Candy, I guess. Oh, salt and vinegar. Smell good. Oh, look at that. These are the ones. So good. So as nice as this is, I'm going to get some real food. Have my snacks already. A little bit disappointed with Percy Pigs, to be honest. But yeah, I tend to get some real food and then come back here and see the place at night time. Guys, I have seen one very good shop that just popped out the same way and that is none other than Nando's. Absolutely buzzing. Excited to try Nando's in Malaysia. So I came back to the towers again at night time because you see it's all lit up but I just want to go back and say that that Nando's I had wow <laughs> it's so good especially when you haven't had it in a long time it just tastes so much better you know unexpected didn't realize they'd have it over here but all the better that they did that's Marks and Spencer's and Nando's a few home comforts no joke it's thunder and lightning going on right now but the towers are still looking unreal and the fountain but yeah it looks gonna rain down and i am going to end the vlog for today right now had a very very enjoyable day exploring around the city and the caves this morning very beautiful beautiful city and i'm actually loving it so far but yeah if you like this don't forget to like subscribe do all good stuff to keep up with my travels i will see you in the next one